Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having a good week. Today we'll be looking at two unusual items I use and bring on every single one of my backpacking trips. Now the two items I'm going to be showing you today are related, so they work together as a pair and they are not purposely built for what I use them for, right? So they're items that are made for something else and that I repurpose and use them for my packing. Now there's a lot of purposely made uh, microfiber miniature towels that you can buy in outdoor shops they're usually overpriced and their performance is also so-so like if you read the uh, reviews then you'll see that some of them work some of them not really for years i only used a t-shirt to dry if i was to go for a swim in a lake or when i would shower but it would take a really long time to dry and it would not absorb as much water as i wanted to so as I was inquiring as to what others were using as a makeshift uh, towel, this guy told me that he had been using for a number of years a car chamois. So this is my first item and this is what I bring on every single one of my bikepacking trip and this is what I use as my microfiber miniature towel. The are small this is actually the perfect size for me I have longer hair so it takes a little bit more to dry them if I need to there are microfiber so they dry quickly um, and yeah I usually tie them to the back of my bike and within a day's ride then they're dry again it'll cost you less than twenty dollars and they work great all right before we move on to the main part of this video and if you enjoy this type of content, please give me a thumbs up. It's much appreciated. Also, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when new videos are being released. All this really helps the channel grow and is much appreciated. All right. So there's one thing I always struggle with when I go on a bikepacking trip, especially in the summer, and that is sweat not during the day when I'm riding the bike, but more so when I arrive at camp and I stop. There's one thing I really hate, and that is going to bed feeling sticky. Now, in Ontario, we get a lot of bugs. So on top of the sweat, you add a copious amount of bug spray or lotion, and it really makes for an unpleasant experience when you go to bed. So I've been looking for a few years at different systems and something that will allow me to just rinse when I get to camp or when I stop or when I get to a water source. There was this one shower head that they used to make and that they used to sell at my local outdoor shop, but it was a two part system. It was kind of bulky. It was prone to breaking. It was also quite expensive. I think it was like $40 just for this little plastic part that you would screw on your bottle or water bladder and really it didn't feel like a good investment of space and money at the time uh, so for the longest time uh, probably the first two years i went without any solution whatsoever but i kept looking for something about a year and a half ago i found this guy now this is the corgo dog shower yes you heard me right this is a shower head to wash your dog the great thing about this is it fits on almost any universal water bottle threads or bladder threads for example i use it with my knock vecto uh, water bottle and it works great so it's really easy and it's made of this like soft rubber uh, it's super durable super light I will put the actual weight uh, right at the bottom of the screen here for you guys so yeah all you need to do is just literally screw it on and that's it you've got basically a portable shower now this two liter bladder gives me exactly a minute of water. Uh, the last 15 seconds is a little bit of a slower um, 
drip just because you don't have as much uh, water pressure going on. But for a good 45 seconds, uh, you can take a full on shower with this. So it's really, really good. You can just then tie it to a branch or something with a rope and you have your own little improvised shower. I also use this to wash up my bike when it gets really grimy and dirty. And yeah, this helps save up a lot of water. Like I said, you get up to a minute of water with a two liter bladder. So it's really, really cool. Second good side to this, it's really cheap. Um, this is, I think, $15 at the moment. As usual, I'll put a link in the uh, description below. It will be a link, so I do get a little bit of a kickback when you purchase something through those links. But yeah, super affordable, durable, and yeah, it takes no space. You can even squish it and pack it and it'll just, it'll hold just fine. So yeah, I hope you guys find this useful. This is a great little tool. Yes, it's made to wash dogs, but it works great for us humans as well. Uh, and yeah, if you own a dog, then you get even more use out of this. You can wash your dog, wash your bike, and wash yourself all with this little thing. It's pretty great. Okay, so thanks for sticking around. If you also use an unusual item that you bring on your bikepacking trip, please share them in the comments below. I'm super curious to you see what you guys are using on your trips and maybe there's something we can all learn from each other. As usual, I hope this video was useful. Stay safe, ride often, and I'll see you next time.